Today, people paid their respects to former Kentucky First Lady and Miss America Phyllis George. She was honored during a visitation at the Kentucky Castle this afternoon, just one week after she died from a rare blood disorder at the age of 70. Sophia Millar has tonight's Big Story at 6. Highland visiting the Kentucky Castle today are just some of the people whose lives were touched by Phyllis George. She was a remarkable woman. Um, she lit up the room wherever she went. George was a former Kentucky First Lady and Miss America and was a pioneer in her field, breaking barriers for female sports casters. But above all, she was a mother, a sister, an aunt. I think one of her goals in life was just to keep us all together. Brittany George Couch says her aunt was a beautiful person who made deep connections with everyone who crossed her path. And she never met a stranger. That is one thing that I think if you've met her, that anybody could say that she really did make you feel special even if you were just a stranger. George died at 70 years old of a rare blood disease she fought for more than half her life. She died with her children around her though, and those were two of her most prized possessions. Family members welcomed people to pay their respects to a woman who George Couch says at times seemed larger than life. I know for all of us, it feels like the end of an era. The visitation happened under strict guidelines. Anyone coming to say their goodbyes were asked to wear a mask, record their temperature, and practice social distancing. But George Couch says it was important to her family that people had a space to grieve. I think that just in this coronavirus situation we're in, we didn't want that to stop everybody from being able to pay their respects, that the love that she gave to everybody was bigger than, than this. The family is asking that instead of sending flowers, people donate to the Phyllis George Memorial Fund to help support causes that were important to George in her life. In Woodford County, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. Thanks, Sophia. A small private service will take place Monday at 3 p.m. that will be live streamed on KET's website.